Hey there, it's me, Lottie, and today is a glorious day in May <laughs> to see what's popping. So let's just go out here. Let's just go out here and take a look around, see if there's anything new and interesting happening. I have some plants that I want to get in the ground because I do want to add some medicinal herbs, a more variety around here. Let's see. We already talked about ground ivy, didn't we? Did we talk about ground ivy? Did we talk about creeping Charlie? That is ground ivy right there. It's a great ear, nose, and throat herb. So here we have what before I was saying I didn't know what it was. These are definitely peonies coming up here. And we got this little garlic mustard that is definitely ready to harvest. So maybe we'll make some sort of a wild pesto lots of chickweed I need to just come out here because that would be great in a pesto as well here's more garlic mustard so yeah we should gather up some of this stuff and make a wild foraged pesto I'm walking on chickweed here <laughs> I also have a few goodies that I'm going to be putting in the ground here. We have some New England Aster, which is a great respiratory herb. It's great for asthma conditions. It's a bronchiodilator. We also have uh, bee balm or Monarda right here which is another excellent respiratory herb. So as you can see, I'm starting a little respiratory garden here, out here. And I also brought some anise hyssop to put down in the ground. And this stuff spreads like crazy. Um, oh, and I also think this little guy, I think that is a uh, mountain mint. So we're gonna get those in the ground today. I think I'm going to put them back near the forsythia because I think it'll look nice back there. Although the forsythia doesn't, uh, that's true. It doesn't stay yellow for the whole year, but you know, the purple flowers of New England Aster might look nice. And I almost missed sharing this with you. <gasps> Cherry blossoms. Aren't they beautiful? So lovely. So hopefully we're going to get a nice crop of sour cherries. Oh, let's see what our Rose of Sharon is doing. <gasps> Look, I do like to see this. You see? So she is starting to bud. So we'll keep an eye on the Rose of Sharon too. That's what's up. So I think for better or worse, I'm gonna put a, put a few things along this row here, side of the house. Because it's relatively clear already, I don't have to clear a lot of um, this side too, really. I don't have to clear a lot of growth like I do down here, you see? Call me lazy. <laughs> but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna plant some things over there. So this will be like my before shot. <laughs> we'll see how this area does. And I'm gonna put some of the anise hyssop. I'm gonna sow some more chive seeds, lavender. You know, I'm just gonna put down some stuff and we'll see what happens. All right, so we're gonna see how this goes. 
I sprinkled down some lavender and chive seeds on this side. And on this side, we have, let's see, I put down some nasturtium seeds. We have Monarda right here. This is some um, Echinacea. We have our Anise Hyssop. And I had some Solomon Seal. I don't know how it's gonna do, because the roots had been sitting out all year, so they may not do nothing, but we'll see. Like I said, this is my before shot of this area right outside the side door. Let's see what we can turn it into. Let's give everything a little bit of water. It would be nice for this to all boss up with lavender. It'll be so pretty, right? Let's get over here. Okay. And then over here, I decided to put down, we have New England Aster here amongst the motherwort. I put a Monarda right here. And I thought I had another, I thought I had another New England Aster. <laughs> I am not the most, oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not the most precise gardener. I do what I feel, you know. Over here, I have some nasturtiums. So, I didn't want to do too much in this area because I'm going to, we're talking about having this dilapidated, broken down garage uh, demoed. So, I didn't want to plant anything here that was a perennial that might get destroyed when we demolish the garage. So let's see what happens with those things there. Hey there, it's me, Lottie, and we're gonna go check on our Plant. plants. Can I record it? You wanna record it? How about I record you? Okay? Yeah. So. Oh, never you was courting me? I was courting you. So, do you remember where we planted the anise hyssop? Yeah. It's right here. This is the anise hyssop that we yeah. planted, and it looks like it's doing really good. Yeah, hmm. and we can make some tea with it. We can make some tea with that. Now, right here, this is called echinacea. Yeah, echinacea. Good. And it looks like it's doing good, too. Yeah. It's still little. Put your finger over there again. Good. It's still Remember, little. I'm doing to the little ones. But it's going good. Let's we'll go check on the now white this, little ones. This here, yeah, that's called bee balm. Bee balm. And it makes a good tea also. That was a transplant and it's doing really good. Okay. Mm hmm Now over we'll here, check on the little we're keeping our there. eye out because we planted some more chives and lavender chives. so we're keeping our eye out for tiny plants yeah. coming up right mm -hmm. okay oh now let's go look over here didn't we plant we planted uh, some nasturtiums right here yeah. and over here we have our first sunflowers coming up we planted quite a few. We don't know what they're gonna do. But these are sunflowers. These are sunflowers. The sunflowers coming up, right? Right there. Yeah, I know. Yes. So then, in the yard itself, it's just getting more and more lush. Yeah, as you can see, we have we an abundance. We die. Yeah, they did die back, the daffodils. We have an abundance of Creeping Charlie and Purple Dead Nettle. Yeah. And we, to make a little trail. we need to make a trail to walk on, right? Yeah. Looks like the garlic mustard yeah. is coming in good, so maybe. Yeah, let's go check on the little ones. 
some more garlic mustard. Lots of motherwort. Oh, more garlic mustard. So as you can see, it's getting pretty lush back here. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at these. Yeah? Yeah, these. With medicinal plants that we're going to be able to make a lot of medicine from. Yeah. I'm going to be good. It's going to be stuff to make us stay well. And I'll teach you how to make it. Can yeah. I teach you how to make medicine? Yeah. All right. Sounds good to me. Wait, this dirt. Yeah. You want to make some tea? You want to make some fake sand? See, here is this. Yeah, this is a lot. I mean, we're about to have a yeah. lot of garlic mustard. Yeah. So that means we're going to be able to make some pesto. Yeah, this looks like a shooting star. It does look like a shooting star. That's called cleavers. Cleavers? What is cleavers? This is our mother wart. It's getting really big. Big. <laughs> yep. Big and healthy. Right? It's the big walking. Let me look at this big rock about. There's a big rock back there. Let me, do you want to look at it? Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's stuck in your boot. How did that happen? Lift your leg up. Take a big step up. There you go. <laughs> did, it, did it scratch you? No. Okay, good. But it's just friendly. It's friendly? Yeah, it was, was in my shoe. It was a friendly stick. We have a lot of chickweed out here. Yeah. Got a lot of chickweed. Chickweed yeah. So we need to come out and gather yeah, some of this. Yeah, chickweed. Wait, it got stuck. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can climb up this tree. You can? Yeah. That's the Rose of Sharon. Yeah. That before was just these little tips. We're gonna kill hold my hand. And as you can see, it's now blooming. Yeah, I actually climbed this. You're actually going to climb? You know, this one is a better tree for climbing. Let's try this one over here. This is the cherry tree. Here. Oh, never we looked at it. And your dad climbed this tree here. Try putting your foot. Yeah, let me get on this side to help you. I can't even do this. There you go. There you go. You're in the tree! Good job!